Uh, medical minute. Medical minute. Let's talk about something we see quite a bit, or orticaria. And orticaria, uh, the main character of orticaria is basically hives. But what you should ask the parents, what you should um, hopefully not see an exam because it happens over hours, is that the lesions go away completely and they come up in another place. So over time, it's a migrating rash, a rash that comes and goes. Most commonly, you get blamed on allergic reactions. Most of the time, however, it's actually not an allergic reaction. It is an IgE, it's an allergic mediated reaction, but usually to something else. So most of the urticaries we see are actually from, they had a cold or virus, and then they show up with the urticaria. Of course, some, they had a fever, they had a cold, somebody put them on a virus, so and all of a sudden it's an allergic reaction to amoxicillin. From, from all the patients that tell you they're allergic to penicillin or amoxicillin or something like that, what percentage do you think are real? 80%, 50%, 20%, 10%, 10 uh, well, I would say lower It's 1% to 3%. And that's a big deal. Only 1% to 3% are really allergic to penicillin or amoxicillin because people with allergic to penicillin or documented penicillin allergies have a longer length of stay in hospitals, have more risk of C. diff, and therefore morbidity and mortality while in the hospital just because they're allergic to penicillin, because then we use Levic, when we use strong antibiotics that don't need to be, or they could have got home on amoxicillin because they're not really allergic, and instead we admit them with some weird antibiotic and then they get complications. So it is a big deal. There's ways to prove they don't have it. You make a dilute version of amoxicillin injectable like ceftriaxone or something, and you do a little flare localized, and over a half hour, an hour, they don't react, they're not allergic. And I've done that as a medical student back in Puerto Rico, we would rule out allergies to penicillin by doing this TB testing with penicillin. And you can do that. Of course, we don't do that in the ER, we don't have the time, uh, but in the hospital, something worth doing because these are not real. The point is, going back to the orticaria issue, is that parents, it's easy to blame the antibiotic, here's another antibiotic, and oh, they're not getting better, let's change it. And, and it's because the orticaria will last on and off for a week, maybe two, and they need to know that so they don't come back to us. And failure to educate them means another visit, another checkup, another antibiotic, unnecessary harm to a patient because they're getting antibiotics they don't need because it was viral to begin with. And the way it works is because the virus it basically induces an immune-related response and they get this urge to carry this hives elevation. To be truly allergic, so let's say the hives actually happen because of a food. They ate something they knew and they developed the allergy. Those patients who are truly allergic should go home on an EpiPen because the risk is a, a subset of them will react more severely the next time. Most of them will react the exactly the same way and will never progress to worse allergy. But because they had uh, some symptoms, obviously if it's just a rash, I would be unlikely to give me epinephrine to go home with. Now that I read that article, I would, just as a preventive thing. But if they definitely had any kind of wheezing, shortness of breath, lip swelling, anything more than just a superficial rash, absolutely they should live with an epinephrine and an instruction on how to use it. And uh, I think that's it. Thank you. Now you can purchase Rest More. This product helps you get a good night's rest and has been specifically formulated for Dr. Carlo Aller. This dietary supplement combines tryptophan, melatonin, and valeria to ensure you quickly and safely enter deep sleep without feeling groggy the next day. It is particularly effective for people with rotating shifts and people with jet lag, as the melatonin helps reset your body's clock and normal sleep cycles. Available now using the eBay link in the description of the video and soon on the Amazon store.